Good evening, good evening. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. I sure am. It is a good Thursday night. I had to remember what day it was. Um, we are back. I'm excited. We're going to get back into Cyberpunk today. Uh, this game was super fun the first time we played, and we haven't got to play since then. Uh, because of all the internet issues, or whatever, when we were moving. Which sucked, but, uh, we're back, we're ready to play. I'm excited to get back into this. The story was getting good. We were about, I think we just finished up the, the first big-ish quest, where you go get the, uh, um... I can't remember what it was called. The little spider robot thing. Hi, Vivi. What a good girl. Um, but yeah. We're gonna hang around. Too much, we're gonna get right into it. Go ahead and hop over. I think this is the save. 242, I think that's what we got. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Yeah, I'm excited for this, though. Hi, we were going, to the um... Uh, hello, Ziggy. Assault Thanks rifles, I think, me. was a plan. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive by. We'll, we'll see what we get into. I have no, <laughs> no idea no. how I want uh, to build a character. I don't know anything about CDR this, so... For every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from... We'll, we'll figure it out. How things looking, Mr. V? Right, yeah, we got the flat flathead. That's what it was. We just finished up, so. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. It's true. You got some balls, Mr. B. We did. What we did do that. Parker? Still on the to-do list. Uh -huh. That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. All right. We got stuff to sell? We have a ton of crap. What are we even using? I don't even remember. Let's take, let's take a look. We got this assault rifle, this submachine gun, and a chain sword. Does the precision rifle count as a rifle? Because if it does, I want to use that. I forgot. We look pretty. I like our character. Uh, I think he looks pretty cool. And then it was submachine guns too. Yeah, we can use. Let's let's do, let's do a double check. Cause we, yeah, we were going into reflexes. Um, progressing this attribute improves your proficiency with assault rifles, submachine guns, blades. Ah, so we should. We have a couple levels. I see that we got two perks, two attributes. Okay. Oh dang, we can put it into these. Oh, that's for swords. Minus 20% stamina. Uh, that's for dodging and dashing. I feel like we're going to go a lot into this. Allows you to shoot while sprinting, sliding, vaulting. That might be pretty good. We're good at it. Um, let's see, what else were we going, we were going into tech? Explosive, tech weapons. That's pretty good, because that'll be good for grenades, yeah? This is for... Other stuff, right? Uh, 
Uh, net running abilities regressing and increases your proficiency with smart weapons and allows you to unleash your full potential as a net runner. That might be good though. Oh, 5% instant recharge on health items after using your grenade. I also wonder if we should go into body because this like, this is health. That seems smart. When using blood pump cyberware or a health item, 100% mitigation chance uh, for two seconds. Grants reduced incoming damage by current mitigation strength. Okay. Then this is just extra health regen if we're losing health. Uh, health regen while we're sprinting. This one might be good. Helps us get back in the fight. Tech seems so cool though, because it was grenades, right? Health Freak. 8% recharge for health items and grenades. Oh, that seems really good. Yeah, I think we're going to go into tech. Let's get that up to 9 so we can start getting this stuff. 30% health on the final charge of your health item. That seems pretty good too. And first aid seems good too. Grab that. Give us a little bit more health, because we're playing on hard. So, uh... That looks sick. Little chainsaw sword. It gives me, uh, Viber, Viber Blades. Feeling from, uh... Freaking KOTOR. Okie dokie. We have a bunch of stuff we can sell. I think we're going to get rid of... Oh, maybe we should keep a normal assault rifle. I don't really feel like submachine guns. 7.8, 8, 8. 13. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just going to use the two different kinds of assault rifles, maybe. And then a, a melee weapon. Cool. Yeah, where are we? Couldn't get hit by cars, that's not good. We could drive. We're going way down here. Maybe we should fast travel. You can go to a fast travel location by placing your cursor on it by pressing left click. Just like uh, the Witcher. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, we could probably flip that. That's not that far. 300 meters. This game is so massive looking. We're like not even there. We're yes, not even into it. I'm talking to you. Are you getting what you want out of life? All right, we made it. Now, this game is nuts. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Uh, brain dance was good. What do you got? What don't we got? 
Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Auteur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word, bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Okay, so this is a... Uh, Think you can handle it? Like a... Uh, bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. We got virtual mm -hmm. um, strip lift. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Thanks. That's so nice of you. Mox. Okay. Yeah, no there. A bit of dancing. Oh, depends what you're into. Maybe you can tell me about it. Oh. This game's wild. <laughs> hey. Get you something. Looking for Evelyn. Um. Lizzie still work here? Well, so curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot all in home. Bill? Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Game <laughs> came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big Boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Look at these tattoos. Biz booms to this day. Crazy. Um, looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? You know, with how I I dress up every day, I feel like I should have been a corpo. Not a street kid. Big tipper. Oh no, we're not, we're not cool. I forgot. We're not. We're not going into cool. Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. And she's just sitting right next to me. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Want some tequila? Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Is that the, uh, the precision one or whatever? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. 
That's cool that every... We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Any every way you level gives you different here. conversation stuff. That's cool. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry Nothing's wrong. You. Well, really? Eleanor, why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Is that a... Can I... Why can't I get that? I don't want to sit down. Let me get the thing. Family Empire. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. Arasaka Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, uh, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it had, uh, has been behind the proverbial wheel of planet's economy uh, and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving as of its own article, but suffice to say the media industry in our city follow, follows the family behind the megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of empire, a true dynasty under the rule of Patriarch Saburo Arasaka. Rumors of the great Saburo's, Saburo's retirement and se um, session of con company control, as well as of his closely guarded secrets to his daughter, Hanako, and son, Yorinobu, have come and passed in recent years. But has the time come where such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth? Our sources report that Yorinobu Arasaka is currently in Night City, but not for a social call. And yet, if Yorinobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanako? Experts who follow the family closely unanimously agree that due to ideolo ideological differences between Saburo and Yorinobu, Hanako will lightly cement herself as the one true heir. Interesting. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. That's so cool. I like that there's multiple choices for things, depending on what you went into. That's really cool. I'm waiting. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. <laughs> we both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Mm, nope. <laughs> Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. The other kind? Elaborate, please. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's just talk Piz. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? She just wants what's in it. She doesn't care about it. Must be something good. Out of my price range. Never had the opportunity. You know, v? just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Oh, Don't that's you what read we just, the screen that's what we just read. The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. 
Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Seriously, he's my target? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Yeesh. Yorinobu's got an army around him, I bet. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Seems kind of dumb. Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. I guess that's fair. Doesn't wanna doesn't wanna be like hovered over. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. I think that's so what like everything is so corrupt. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Everything. Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watches and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What? I want to know what's on this thing. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Maybe he's just got a taste for power. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. Yeah, you probably I can't do anything. Sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, 
What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got Digging? something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. What? <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? All right, all right. No. Would you? It can be a very like useful tool. Oh, right. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. There's so Judy much. Help. She's a mox, too. Besides, so we go much back, like uh, lore years. from everyone that you talk to, it's kind of crazy, like nuts. You can get so much information from everyone. V, it's super this cool. This is important. Judy's always been there for me, always helped out. I trust her, but she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Yeah, okay, okay. Relax. I'm sorry. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Not bad, the hardware's top shelf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Getting, getting nerdy. Do? Too nerdy. Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Brain dances. Concepts. Oh my, these are, these are ideas that they have for brain dances. A, a woman giving birth. Pro. Nobody's done it yet. Con. Have to hook up a prenatal wreath, which is more expensive. BD of the most common dreams compilation. It's doable. I'll have to consistently scroll through the, the dreams of a dozen, a couple dozen people over at least one year to catch them repeating themselves. Flying, swimming, falling, going to work, school naked. Two BD scrolled by two actors. Neural tracks set up so that it looks like one BD. Via Nova. Tech for it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. The Venus first one was a while. That's most important. So let's calibrate. Tune it to him. You experience that that as another person. Believe me, have dealt with worse. I guess it would give uh, the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop the inside. Let him look. It would give them rummage around. Right? Men the understanding of how, how not, it, not enjoyable oh, it is. Dance. Ever taken a dip before? Um, what's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready mates, provided they're well made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. 
Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. So, like, a normal VD is pretty much just on rails, and this is, uh, this is off the rails. You experience everything. Like a virtual reality to another, whole nother level. Oh, I've watched people do those in virtual realities with the like. Got to create your sensory profile shock, first. Uh, things where you feel like impacts. That'd be nuts. Playing Skyrim with that, like a on a a moving. Pad. We get it together. Calm down. I'm talking to people, Judy. I got a moving pad, and then virtual reality, um, and having that thing, that would be insane. Getting hit, you'd feel it, that'd be, that'd be so cool. What's up with you? Uh, profile away. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Oh. Pretend it's an eye exam. Oh, that's so bright. I'm gonna have to calibrate each time. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. That's wild. All set. You feel you everything. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. I guess now, so. Let me see. Where could yeah, they would we... have to have restriction things on it, so you wouldn't like your heart Can't wouldn't he stop. Can't just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? Things like that. So we don't risk our necks. Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Oh, this is like the tutorial. Okay. Boot it up. Mm -hmm. I guess we should do Let me this. Let give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in. And three, two, one. Ah, that's not that different than what I stare at while I'm streaming. Plants. Big old lights in my face the whole time. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it. Got it. And remember. Everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. That's nuts. Okay, on you go. They're robbing the store, that's what the BD is. You get the thrill of that? That's nuts. Down. Everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Oh damn, he got shot. Ah! Yeah, see, that's Slow, where they have to have the breaths. limiters. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Could have warned me. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. It could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Well, I'm not so hell? sure about that. You'll be fine. That's... Oh, man. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. These are crazy. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Oh, Full that's cam so cool. control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. This is what Think the... Think is your own little sandbox. Off, so analysis off mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. We sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. 
Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't create. You go Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You don't get Yeah, the mix from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Oh, okay. So it'll show visual layer, thermal layer, sound layer. Old sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright after being successfully scanned. The clues disappear from the track. Okay. You just hover over and scan. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. I wonder how they do this. If it's like an implant in their head? A oh, left shift. Okay, good. Okay. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll take the register. Okay, that's cool. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? So, any thoughts? That's unbelievable. Sounds like a normal uh, grocery like store. Like what's happening right next to me. Convenience store. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Been there, done Keep that. Playing with the sound, when I was 18. explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. I love to work it. I was, I worked in a grocery store from like. Yeah, probably like when I was 18 till I was like 20 or so when I was in school. And it was it was a good time because I worked with a bunch of friends, so it was just tons of fun. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, hey? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and Serpent. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You want to see your kids in the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! Swear to God, look! You take the gun! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll oh, see in a sec. Cam that's cool. feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Oh, it feeds to this? Oh, so we then we can look at it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Yeah. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. Can't trust nobody. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. 
Those are cool. Those are real cool. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? To no way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll TV. tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. You can trust T-Bug. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. Oh, yeah, it's T-Bug. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. One button, phone calls. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Doesn't matter. You ready? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Dang. Okay, so this is uh, Evelyn's. Brain dance, which she recorded. Right? All right, V, eyes open. Gotta find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. There's something in here already? Right here? It's a big man. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds fall into this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Like a kind of fuckable meat, are you? Well, that is inappropriate, sir. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Oh, T-Bug. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for good. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. There's so many things you can scan. Cause, but make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. We have the phone. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. attired. Visual as old gray beard. Who thinks nothing will change. And he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. 
stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. Damn, he's we like... have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. He's like over his dad completely. Uh. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough any longer, you know? I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. Let's fast forward a bit. Get back to where we were. Condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Hold up. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Yeah, we already knew that. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. That's why we wouldn't got it. out of ideas. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Candy? Night step. I've got an idea. Be right back. Oh. Who am I missing? Very nice. But come uh, here already. No mood lighting. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect. Well, there we go. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Okay. Thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. Whoa, 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 what's he got? Bad pad? Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Whoa, that's cool. Does that mean. Oh, there's so much more to look at now. Dang. Man. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big robot man. Campaign ice bucket. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No. No but... way. Tim's too low, could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Pause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. No, not not rewind. I wanted to fast forward. I hit on an accident. You were like a kind of funnel into the body. Yeah, you heard that like six times now. <laughs> okay. What is this? Fridge? Just a fancy ass fridge. Temp doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Okay, so it's down the bridge. Well, there's something over there. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. You already know who's got the case here. Guaranteed. So it's in a mm -hmm. safe. We got it. Good work. Back. Looks like Back we got corner. everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Is there anything else, though? There's, oh, there's one more thing, but it's just a He's thermal thing. A particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's tired. 
visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing. We got everything we needed. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. I have a, I have a feeling I'm going to want to play this game so much more, so we might, we might shift it to three days Cyberpunk, two days Skyrim. I don't know. We'll see. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. I am enjoying the Skyrim book Portable runs, device but. for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. I had a fun. I had a Not bunch of fun yesterday. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Oh damn! You can't jinx us like that. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. So good. That was that was freaking cool. The brain dances are cool. What a like Worth unique way <laughs> to like get information about what you're supposed to do. One sec. Thanks, Judy. Really. Don't worry. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I haven't failed the quest yet. She doesn't like me yet. All right, we'll, we'll change that. She'll like us. Let's walk. Anything in here? You know me, I got a loot got one. Ho 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 ho, see? Well, what do you think? What was that? Oh, a smart weapon. Requires a smart link to unlock the full potential of the targeting system. So install one, be sure to use. Uh, visit your trusty ripper dock. I'm going to want to read a bunch of these too because I love lore. Obviously, that's what we do in Skyrim. We re we're reading the books, so I'm going to want to read a bunch of these. Especially because I've never played this really, so um, I want to get a bunch of information. Brain Dance Quarterly. Um, guest Editorial. Brain Dance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real, uh, lived experience, and technological experience. Experiential purity. Uh, the more heavily processed the material, the more abstracted the pathways. To clear the brain dance uh, recording, these fundamental elements of design have glued, guided editors since the first wave of brain to brain experience. Sharing technology took hold. In their pursuit of balance, however, editors have clearly shown a bias for purity over uh, naturalism over the years, even going so far to use it as a point. A pride in their quality of production. But in the industry's latest push for greater purity, has the purpose of the technology already been forgotten? We will not find ourselves processing and filtering a brain dance recording to the point that the emotional experience no longer extends beyond what we receive from film, television, and video games. After reliving some of the latest titles on my feeder unit, this once academic question now feels all too inevitable in the industry's current trajectory. For a moment, let's consider why some reports suggest more and more users are searching for unlicensed titles on the black market. They're called black brain dances. Extreme brain dances are XBDs. Are we so sure it's the illicit con content they're after? That's kind of crazy. It's just like it's explaining how it all kind of started. More loot. Is that, a, is that a sandwich? Some corn? Vatna Jokul. A drink from a glacier is a drink from history. Honeys. 
Why be me confessions of brain dance addict? Do you want to be you? Seriously, take a okay. Take a moment um to let that question sink in. Do you feel at home in your skin? Do you like your job, your friends, your family? When you look in the mirror, do you say to yourself, I'm the luckiest person alive? Then hop in the leather up upholstered backseat of your chauffeur chauffeured Rayfield. If you answered yes to any of those questions, put down this book and stop wasting your valuable time. If you answered no to the above, I understand just how you feel. <laughs> It used to be said at the turn of the century that the world belongs to the 1%. Today, 1,000 of a percent is closer to the truth, and your chances of joining this group are even less than that. In this reality, I mean, where are you? In a brain dance, you could be anyone, a broker who manages a portfolio, por portfolio with trillions, a lead soldier who blasts his enemies out of existence with a tech shotgun, a suave rocker boy whom the whole world lusts after. Now I ask you again, one of the millions upon millions of people in this world, do you want to be you? The answer for me was always no. That's when my story begins. This is like... Um... That's like Ready Player One. Like that level of brain dance. That's how that feels. Oh! What is this? Health item upgraded. Okay. So this, these are different. This is like your heal. This does way more healing over time. And o overall more, but less the start. It seems pretty good. It just gives you like a, a a heal over time. And then that's just a big heal. Let's go with that. We have other grenades. We have the frag grenade, flashbang, and an EMP. Man. Are we looking cool? What do we got? I know we got cool stuff from... Oh, is that the... Is that the... Didn't we have the Witcher one? Oh, that's this one. Yeah, the Wolf School. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I love the Witcher. We should do it. Do a playthrough of that. We should do play through Witcher 3 sometime. That'd be good. Maybe after Cyberpunk. I guess maybe after Skyrim. Whichever one we get done first. That's kind of cool. I like this though. I like this. Dang. Look at those. Are those stylish or what? Uh, I like the, I like the chucks. Alright. We don't have anything else? Yeah. I mean, we haven't, re <laughs> haven't really played. It's only day two. There's so much info. There's so much lore. The Mox. It's one of those stories that is either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The Mox came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side. We took matters into our own hands. The Mox is composed of people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Uh, sex workers, endless artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls. We were dealt a fair hand in life. Today, the Mox is thriving and demonstrated, as demonstrated by the booming biz and Lizzie's bar. Lizzie's renown, renown um, for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, ga gang goons, pop stars, and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink, and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang-owned and operated. But the Max, uh, the Mox are in charge, watching out 
uh, after their own, just like Lizzie of Legend did, once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a stripper pole. Janice proudly explained she took care of the girls, made sure Eddie's were falling into their pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this F er editor's note referring to the tire claws gang member was having too much fun with one of the girls. And Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the claws found out as fast as they flatlined. Found out fast and they flashlight or flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and well, you already know the rest. Damn. So much lore. I love it. All right. Connection to Yorinobu. Well, you guys see how you know you so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex. Biz. And biz only. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Our Saku will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then, packed full of big names, much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats, or a little bedroom plaything like me. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else, no middlemen, no decks. You want a Hazar fixer? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. Damn. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Yeah, that seems not very smart. Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight. Your choice. I, I don't think I don't think we're gonna do that. That seems seems not very smart. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. Fifty percent. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. We wouldn't do that to Padre. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. That's kind of nuts that she wanted to go. I need a few to go that far. We level up. Nice. Um, to just like skip out. I mean, it sucks that the, they're literally just like a middleman, but they set Stop everything up. So Mr. V. I got the Compeki re uh, recording. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set, ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that vital chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. What is this? Excuse me. <laughs> well, we gotta read it. 
What an effing world. Finally, I get my ass on Ziggy's show, and right before I walk on stage in effing hospital, somewhere gets shot up. This dick, damn. This dick cancels the show last minute for a special app about the effing victims. Who the F cares? Is anyone going to remember them in a week? Did they spend half their effing career to get on that show? Well, they just haven't died. Got my ass on stage anyway. Let them know you don't cock block a goddamn TV. Messiah. The security fucked me up. So bad that we... Uh, that what was scrolled got corrupted. Oh, man. Some of those are a little, a little ridiculous. But that's good. Do we want to explore a little bit more in here? Next time you fuck something up. When was the last time I fucked anything up? Huh? Um, I don't know. Oh, hey, got a little problem. Flying stiff, yeah? <laughs> Money, I need. The girls the My, what a sweet little face you have. What a sweet little face I have. Alright. We level. Yeah, we're gonna keep putting in the tech, I think. Tech body and reflexes are the big three for me. Then maybe we'll put some into cool eventually, if we get that far. And we have a perk point. Do we want this? Recharge? Well... What's reflexes? Do we have anything in here? No, because... Oh, we have to put that in. Uh, 30% reload speed when above 50% stamina. That's pretty good. Now we can get into this stuff. Minus 25% recoil when aiming. Yeah, that's going to be good. 20% effective range and accuracy. Weapon swap speed. 30%. Minus 30% bullet spread. Okay. Yeah, that'll be really good if we're going to use two, two um, assault rifles. We'll go from the big one to the spread one. That'll be, that'll be good. Where's our car? Uh, Bar Moss Collective. First will come the great reality check which ushers in the future of the world. Whenever money changes hand, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. Thank you. How'd it go? Now the client played me a BD of the place where we're supposed to visit. BD, huh? Alright, alright. Just keep me posted. I was just decked. Hey V, thought just occurred to me. Can't start your career in the major leagues with its right by sporting some rag of a t-shirt. The wind blows a lot stronger up there in the top of the world. Old timers like me hate to watch you kids catch cold. Left you a couple things in your stash of your apartment. Holy crap, this guy's giving me more stuff. He just gave us like 20,000... Wait. No. Didn't he give us stuff already? Yeah. He just updated. He just. He did. He like. He updated all of our crap when we had that. Um. Virus and whatnot. Another hope you don't. Think those. Hiroshis were a charity. And <laughs> yeah. There we go. Anyway. Where else uh, would I find a home for these things? Not Missy Style and my punk days are long behind me. He's yelling at me again. Alright. Uh, let's see. Where's our car? Oh, right down here. Perfect. Oh. 
Is that barbed wire? Oh my god, did I try to jump on that? Whoops. Okay. What? Who am I in combat with? I'm not the best driver with mouse keyboard, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. Oh, that's who we're in combat with. Screw that one. I don't run them. Damn, this thing is. It is a slow shot. I was not ready for that. Holy crap. Come from. I'm just trying to live my life. Catch. No, thank you. going that was weird increases movement speed shinobi where did they come from I was just getting shot up I just got in my car That blood blood bag V is run heaven me. That head murdered our brothers and sisters in Chrome and he will suffer for it. If anyone catches him burn ru burn rubber and wants again, you drag him out by the hair and beat that khaki effing face. Off it of his into a fleshy pole. Okay, so that's the that's the gang that we uh stole the the flathead from. Makes sense? They, uh, they don't like me. Okay, well, we're almost there. Just a bit. What's up, Jackie? Damn, about time, Holmes. 
How's Mama Wells? Let's know with Senora Wells. Uh, you know, she's worried about me. Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We have arrived. The Major Leagues. Let's do it, Jackie. Does not get any higher, Jim. And you know something else? We fucking earned it, Mano. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Thank you, let's go! Who am I, you clown? Uh, later then. And who am I, you clown? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourself some drinks or That's something. crazy. Their eyes change Play up when they you, you connect more. calmly. That's cool. Drop this in. The night city. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Hey. Southern Forest, Boa Boa, Bigby's Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep. Looks like we're up. He's like a little kid in a candy shop. I'm so excited. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all the night city. Thought Dex was the best. Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? Damn. You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. How long's the afterlife been around? Half a century? Longer. Don't know by how much, though. That would be the oldest club in Night City. Damn. And the most respected. Don't forget that, Ben. 50 plus? Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up and be best. <sighs> What a beautiful tradition. Steep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's gotta go sometime, right? Why not in style? To being filthy rich. Yeah. Filthy rich legends. Oh, and by the way, Name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer. Oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you How now. How do you know? My job to know. Look around. How do you think Mercs are in their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. How do you know? My job? No. Look around. That was weird. <laughs> how do you think Mercs are in their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's Damn, Holmes. How. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. Hello, Jackie. Oh, in the ring. Do some kind of exotic shit. Man. There's loot in there. You could take me, drop me. Sure. 
Este pinche tipo. In here. In the shadow of mega buildings. One could say we're living in stale times, the fourth Corbin Wars. Ancient history, the unification war is over and done with. The night city is a free city. A jewel embedded uh, between two Californias. Living here, you might have the impression that everything is okay in the world, but look around. The world is not okay despite technological recession. Between 2020 and 2040, reducing global pollution levels, humanity is still facing monumenta monumental ex ex existential uh, threats. Climate change has turned into climate disaster. Its effects are irreversible and dangerously unpredictable. Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, floods, natural catastrophes are growing in strength and frequency across the continent, uh, leveling entire regions. Access to clean water is becoming increasingly more scarce as well as fertile uh, land. Hunger and starvation still reaps a uh, bloody human harvest in Asia and Africa where corporations had no interest in building vertical hydroponic farms. Meanwhile, advances in cyber modification have given rise to a new problem, cyberpsychosis. And though we've been aware of cyberpsychosis for over half a century and know the incidents of cyberpsychosis are inextricably linked to a person's level of implantation, we still do not know why some are more prone to carrying out violent attacks than others. Let's not also uh, forget that the more serious issue of mass inequality. Record high crime rates, including in places like Night City and social unrest linked to immigration in almost every corner of the world. So I ask you again, look around. You see all the problems in Night City already. Maybe you're standing in the shadow of a mega building and you think Night City is Night City. The rest of the world's problems don't affect me. Put your head in the sand. Put your head in the sand, it's not your problem. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies as per usual. This is weird, it's just like a room with a thing in it. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad. Delamain. Transportation services. Need to be on time for an important meeting? Don't want your valuable tech to fall into the wrong hands? Or maybe you just don't like crowds? At Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. On a corporate transport, service has a fleet of over 20 armored cars ready and waiting to bring you to your destination in comfort and security. We guarantee secure transport for individuals and packages in the Night City area. Quality that goes hand-in-hand -hand with speed, professional customer service, specifications to suit even the most. Uh, demanding clients, discounts for lo loyal customers. They say that most accidents happen in the home. They're wrong. Did you know that 82% of crimes and accidents happen on the street? Thanks to Delamain, you'll never have to worry about the statistics again. It's like a taxi service. What's going on, Bucky? Boy. Thank you, thank you. Go on now, don't be shy. Put the flathead down. All right then. Set your butts down, comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now, Mr. Wells is right. We're going to be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Man, this game's going to get so good. Pretty well. Uh, Yeah, we're not going to tell. We're not going to tell him about what uh, happened. Mr. V? Talk to Kempeki Plaza from the inside. Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. 
So you know the target? Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Thank you for the stretch. Evelyn Parker's special friend. So she just want to see what's good or was there something else? Thank you for the resub too. Appreciate that, Vivi. Um, that's it. Let's go over the plan. Oh, something's off about her. No. No, we're not gonna tell go him about now. it. Don't be shy. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna tell him. Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? Oh, he thinks it's sketchy. Yes. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, crazy. you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. I'm not very good at that. Time for your burning questions. Not very good at no bodies. So far, we've killed everyone. <laughs> How do we get into the penthouse? How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Konpeki's dweller. Elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Oh, hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? Okay, so the dwellers like their security guy, I think. And then this this shuts him down. And then she can do all her hacking. Uh, Mr. V. These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Harry Conwell. Yeah. Okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Look at that anxiety pumping through, frickin'. Bouncing leg. Hello. fingers, nodding his head around. Transports a Delamain. The big Bring job. Cab company the big in job, Night City. Not a mall. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The No-Tell Motel. Quiet, no questions asked make our next move from there but i'm flat certain that won't be necessary anything else uh why am i all spiffy uh probably it was like right before we moved i just decided that i wanted to start wearing uh nicer uh, clothes Mr. on stream v. just to like be more i don't know i have no reason to wear nice clothes usually so i figured this was a cool reason to do it so monday or not monday um yeah no mondays uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I'm probably gonna dress up, and then Sundays we're gonna have like a chill, Go chill day now, where I just sure. wear whatever. It'll be like my weekend of of chill. Okay, the plan. feel brought up to speed. Perfect. We got a couple different vests. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talents always the yeah, same. Nice glass with a big Q and whiskey. Thirty percent, bro. Thirty. Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. 
Isn't that a little low? Oh, let's let's get more money out of this guy. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Damn right I do. We want more. Jack's right, Dex. We ought to get more than 30. We deserve more. Fine. 35. And that's my final offer. I can live with that. It's my final offer, too. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, we got, it's been a while we got since I got more. a run for my eddies. They're actually kind of fun. Last thing, kompeki has got a strict no iron policy, security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride, take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part too. I already picked it up. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't yeah. get drunk either. You pull something You're off like this, so you just outside. chill out until you get your money. My cue to Delta too. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. Uh. No more questions. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. Hell yeah. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. Yeah, the new. I'm getting rich, I'm, you mean? I'm really liking the new setup. We got like the bookshelf back here with a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, Funko's Lego stuff. Welcome on board this Some Delamain up on the service. walls. With uh, Delamain, you leave... Uh oh. My headset got bumped. Con such contracts. There we go. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Uh -oh. Did it, Del? Before we begin our journey, I then must got, verify the identities of all uh, customers. Channel back Please here. proceed to connect your personal links. I'm gonna get some more, uh, like, box shelves for the back here. Uh, to put more stuff up. But that's about what we're gonna do. Ain't going anywhere unless we do this, V. They'll be coming in, uh, probably a couple days. Probably the next week or something. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. It's nice having my own space. Being in the living room was fine. Like, it was, there wasn't anything bad about it, but it's nice having my own room to have my setup in. Excelsior. The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me, you'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Dang. We also got, uh, well, a lot better lighting, too. Yeah. You just gotta, you work with what you got when you first... <laughs> Excelsior, what else is included? Comprehensive health coverage, including the handling and disposal of a client's remains should death occur on board. Damn, shit got dark pretty quick. Damn, okay, so if we, if we die, it disposes of us. Combat mode sounds Is combat illegal. mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. <laughs> While on board, the you Second are entirely Amendment. within your rights to bear and use me. Dex ain't skimping, That's is That's crazy. At least we got some clue where his 65%'s going, huh? He's like, tank. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. What 
wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. No, Jack. Kind of feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. We are nearing our destination. Yep. Don't gotta tell me. I need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Let me Good. explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Well, that was emotional. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Mm, got static. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. <laughs> Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend, though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Oh, we're not cool. All right, loud and clear. Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out. Looks like. That I may hope see. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? Yep, we gotta leave our guns. That was not what I had. All right, Harry. Let's go. That was not an assault rifle. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. That thing would be so heavy. You'll never guess who I was driving today. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. What do you mean? Sir? You're there to meet Hajime Taki, Welcome the military to tech department rep. Papers are for the flathead. Don't worry. Got this. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir. That's <laughs> it. Put on the put on the act. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? We're arms dealers. Excuse me. Ah, you are here to see Takisan. Am I right? Yep. That's who we're seeing. Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, get out of here. This guy's crazy. Are they all gold? Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. That's weird. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name oh, on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cyber psycho blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Hunter's all yours, Harry. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. 
Better get going. It'd be so terrifying. Everything is just like they have all your information just by like scanning your New crap. Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. Not that obviously you we do that. It. I mean, we do that now with like IDs and crap, but what do you think, just Harry? In your hand. Hmm. Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. The one and only. What? How I'm taking this seriously? Use the world's most expensive model. I did not seduce her. I kidnapped her. <laughs> right after the Buenos Six show. Well, on to the romance. Those girls. I don't know, man. That got pretty rough. The top of the line dolls. Bar don't look too shabby. But nothing. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do I might actually move myself down here. Because this just covers up my grenades and health things. And this is like people that call in and stuff and like information. So I might I might might, might move myself down to this corner. Oops. I think that's fine. Reservations weekday, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh close this deal. Uh let's go to the room. You will, I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. This place is crazy. How much this crap costs? Millions of dollars just to stay like one night, probably. Ridiculous. Too rich for my blood. We nailed apart or what? <laughs> How do I look? Like a solo cosplaying a suit. <laughs> like somebody put clothes on a dog. Oh, yeah, because you look so much better. Yeah. Hey, I mean, look, look at me. This is very respectable. This place is nuts. Ты можешь нормально сказать врал или нет? А ты сама как думаешь? Я думаю, что не врал. По крайней мере насчет Кантау. Зая, ты же помнишь, как мы тестировали эту технику на наших? Well, here we are. La piece, the la instant salina. translation is super cool. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Bug. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. We scan Sounds simple you? enough. Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? Through the grate. Oh, okay. Sick. Aimed Dragon, a biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. In many ways, the story of Yorinobu Arasaka resembles an ancient parable. The younger son of one of the modern world's most powerful CEOs renounces his heritage, forfeits his birthright, and instead chooses a rough and tumble life on the streets of Tokyo, only to later scamper back home to the warm, sheltered bosom of his family, with his tail tucked between er tail tucked. At least that is a story most have pieced together from official sources. Why did Yornobu betray his father in the first place? Why did he return for several years? Dug deeper, fallen leads, reached out to his former friends and acquaintances. Slowly, I began to unearth uh, answers to some of the public's most burning questions. Yorinobu was born in Tokyo in the early 21st century. The first child of so Saburo Arasaka's third wife, Michiko. By all accounts, he seemed a happy child that grew to become a pleasant young man. That is until his graduation from from the University of Tokyo at the age of 21. Following the ceremony, the Arasaka family threw a party in his honor at some point in the evening, so Arboro uh, invited his son to study for a private conversation. 
What transpired there is wholly unknown, but after co corroborating varied accounts, it is clear Yorinobu must have slipped out of the party and the estate only a few hours later. Gone, a whisper in the night. Over the next few years, various eyewitnesses spotted Yorinobu in the company of a nomad group known as Kotetsu no Ryu, or the Steel Dragons. As part of this youthful rebellion, he purposefully involved himself in altercations with Arasaka agents, promoted anti-corporate slogans. After his family eventually confirmed Yorinobu's involvement, Saburo renounced his son and K, or Kai? K, we're just gonna say K. Uh, Saburo's eldest son swore to exact revenge on his younger brother. Ironically, it was later at K's funeral um, that Yorinobu at least reconciled with his father. Stubbornly proud to a fault, many were surprised by the Ar Arasaka's patriarch, um, patriarch's cons conciliatory approach. Uh, we caused Saburo to change his. M what caused Saburo to change his mind? Well, might have your Nobu's sister Hanako played in their peaceable reunion. That much yet remains to be discovered. And there was another one over here. Systems are operational. Oh, Peggy Plaza. What holds more power than a place? An idea. Becky Plaza is more than a hotel, it's a space in which reality is curated to even the most refined tastes and sensibilities. Becky Plaza, you'll find 420 exclusive apartments, 20 conference rooms, 14 fully equipped pools, and the finest bars, restaurants, and that which cannot be uh, measured by numbers alone. Luxury, beauty, and discretion. Our world-class customer care will uh, fulfill even the deepest needs and desires of our guests. Turning your stay in Kopeki Plaza into an unforgettable experience. When it comes to the comfort of our clients, there's no such thing as the impossible. Discover new dimensions of comfort and show the best night city has to offer. This place is crazy. What a what a it's like I don't even know. It's like the most expensive place Charging in the world. The little gonk stock. All that reading. Just gonna stand there and look Making at me it? thirsty. Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Where'd it go? Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Hey, give me a second. I'm looking around. I'm exploring. There's nothing in here? Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Well, that was... That was something. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Oh, that's so cool. Arasaka will cover the cost We're directing it? And all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People start saying I've lost control of one. It's invisible. It's sneaking I'm around. From. A week. That's all we can promise you. That little thing. We will try. And that is all I can promise you. Good go. Okay, flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. How does it do that without being noticed? Still gonna open what the doors. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds him. Note inside said, sorry for the mess. There was blood everywhere. But at least he left it to him. Am I the only one that just gets puke and use condoms? Uh, bug, Where's got the a hitch. Justice in it? What now? Housekeeping's in my way. Okay, got a distractor. Uh, let's see what's on the subnet. All right, Who? on it. You know, good looking. Terrarium's got a control panel. Look in his eye. Somehow, He's I doubt staying it. Staying in the penthouse. Mean you're a noble Arasaka. 
Terrarium's got a temp and air quality control. Might wear expensive suits, but yeah. he's a biker at heart. Always Might do it. For a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride and wipe him out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? <laughs> You're leaving streaks everywhere. <laughs> These girls are having quite the conversation. Gossip only work. Is it doing its thing? Uh, cat. Oh yeah. Something's up with the tank. Hey bug, it worked. <sighs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. Go, go, go. Looking at the wall. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. What if they not know that we're hacked into their cameras and stuff? That's what I want to know. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. App? Oh, this. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird, the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. That's crazy. What do we do now? Neutralize him. Use the flathead to jack into him. I'll flash freeze him with a demon. The old lingo, don't ask. Dweller won't realize something's up? Gotta jack straight into his chair. He won't know what hit him then. Could drive a tank through here and he wouldn't feel a breeze. Dead to the world, that one. Damn. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Okay. He's gonna... Oh, he went through the window. I saw him. Come open this vent. Flathead into the chair, B. Jack in. This is really simplistic, but it looks so cool. I wonder if you do a lot more of this stuff, like, way more in, in depth later on. I think just, oh, like, mountain his brain. Love those demons. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Okay, so it probably jacked into his head and, like, used a virus or something? Así es como se hace. Know what the demon is? How you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. What's going on? Bug. How you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. Yeah, time to kick you take it easy, lines. okay? Rest up a bit. You leveled again? Oops. Dang. What are we gonna get in uh, this one? Tech, right? So we can go up one? Or... Yeah, body takes up to nine, so... Now we can get... Health Freak. Plus one health item charge. That's good. We might change the health thing back to the instant heal. The, the heal over time was taking forever to actually heal up. It was like no base heal. This is really good though. Plus 10% to all cyberware stat modifiers. 
Oh, so this buffs up all the things you you stick into your your cyberware spots. Like this stuff? Dang. Yeah. Okay. Minus 15% stamina cost for attack with blades. We could have been a we could have been a ninja. But I'm gonna get all this stuff. This is super good. Minus 25% recoil is gonna be huge. Those guns kick a ton. A ton. The assault rifles were nasty kick on them. There wasn't anything in the bathroom, right? Just some air. Okay. Feel out. A few hours later. What do you think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yori Nobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just. Got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. Jeez. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Rich assholes win. Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yori Nobu Arasaka. Would you folks like to join my gang? Poser with court protection. <laughs> and the name, too. Steel fucking dragons? Oh, man. A wannabe gang goon's wet dream. Got bored of being rich and then got bored of playing tough. He's ripping him apart. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. Oh, And we damn. are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Awesome. Before we get into that, really quick, I'm going to use the, the restroom. It's been two hours and I uh, have just been chilling. So I'm going to run to the restroom really quick and then we'll, uh, uh, I'm going to run the ad. So since we're just going to get up anyways. Get it out of the way, and then we'll be right back and we'll finish up this quest. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. <laughs> mean the one up mine? Uh... Slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. That's... That's funny. And Jack is always talking going pretty smack. smooth, right? Right? Man, are you the silver lining type? Hey, when are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. You gotta stop jinxing us, man. There's the awkward silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? If you gotta chill, Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. You just sure brought us straight up to this thing. the son of Raul Wells. Focus the safe and make it quick. Did I just get a. I gotta look. Oh, it won't let me. It won't even let me look. We just got something though. Yeah. What's the rush? Sing on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? It's some kind of dead zones, my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. 
Okay, well, let's... The Relic. Why all the fuss? This is information on the thing. For years, experts in the field of cybernetics, neurology, and psychology have been desperately trying to merge human consciousness with silicon. Until now, their efforts have been unsuccessful, though scientists have managed to create artificial intelligence that can compare or indeed surpass human intellect. Copying the human eye um, has, been, has remained beyond our capabilities. Attempts to do so have merely resulted in sophisticated chatbots, digital beings capable of mimicking human speech and mannerisms, but devoid of self-awareness. Today, experts from Arasaka announce a breakthrough. Their newest project, dubbed The Relic, allows human minds to be copied onto shards no larger than a cred chip. What's more, the shard can be slotted into, any, into one's neural port allowing its user to hear and see digitized personality constructs. Sadly, I haven't been able to personally examine the specifications of this remarkable piece of technology. Access to the relic is heavily restricted by Arasaka, and only a small select group of testers are allowed to participate in the program. Unsurprisingly, these testers are among the wealthiest and most influential people in the world, precisely the kinds of people Arasaka would like to have in its pocket. For the ordinary consumer reading this, don't expect the relic to hit mass market anytime soon. Oh, looks like your Nobu left us a parting gift. I will take that. Much, but it'll have to do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bingo! Got something ejected. So much information. What really happened in Arasaka Tower? If Militech was behind the assault on Arasaka Tower in 2023, and if there's actual evidence to support that, then why didn't Arasaka return the favor and nuke Militech? By now, there's no doubt the bomb was manufactured by Militech, but that doesn't mean they detonated it. I confess I'm not a huge fan of the popular theory that Johnny Silverhand, controversial rocker boy, was behind the whole thing. In fact, I'm not really a Silverhand fan. Period. Silverhand was a poser and a blowhard. Not someone who would actually follow through on his grand wah bluffs. Full disclosure, I just don't think Silverhand would have the balls to pull off something like that. Let's think this through. Who hates corporations the most? Nomads, obviously. Remember that mass market BD called Badlands Raid from the 20s? About a band of nomads who attacked the Militech convoy? Well, guess when it premiered? That's right. On the night of the attack. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, yes, there's a Silverhand cameo in there somewhere, but that's just a marketing play. Um. A BD scrolled by a bunch of cactus huggers wouldn't sell for an any without a recognizable face, but I'm more intrigued by the main actress. How is it she didn't star in any other production despite Badlands Raids? Huge sales? Where was she during the attack? Come here, V. There's so much lore in here. If I hadn't... Okay, The Flowers of Silence, a biography of Hanako. Okay, so this is about his sister. If I had written this biography on the basis of publicly available material, there would be two sides of the story. Not to mention the forward, uh, afterward, and the acknowledgements. Everyone knows that Hanako Arasaka is a very private individual. Everyone has heard about the tragic death of the last reporter who attempted to pen her life story. Ten shots to the back. Suicide. According to the police. That's why when my publisher asked me to write this book, I had politely declined. Uh, then when I saw the advance they were offering me, I stated, uh, started to reconsider. And finally, when I discovered that Arasaka's PR department had given its stamp of approval to interview numerous members of Hanako's entourage, I was on the next flight to Tokyo. Soon enough, however, I lost my original enthusiasm. The people Arasaka sent me to 
uh, be interviewed, repeated the same answers to all questions. Clearly memorized by heart, after months worth of research, all I had was, Anako Arasaka is the daughter of Saburo Arasaka from his third wife, Michiko. She was born in 1999 in Tokyo and has left only the city five times in her life. Living a cloistered life, she had never fulfilled any important role in the family business. She is very close to Yorinobu Arasaka, the black sheep of the family. I was ready to give up when, in the archives of a local TV station, I found a recording of the opening of an Arasaka branch in Fukuoka. Or Fu Fukuoka? Fu I, can't, I can't pronounce it. Fukuoka? We're going to skip it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I got it the first time and now I can't say it again. Uh, graced by the presence of none other than Hanako herself. She played the piano, Debussy's uh, Reverie. Reverie. Uh, why that piece? Why I play a dreamy and introspective song while surrounded by stoic Japanese businessmen. Golden fingers caressed the keys. I was mesmerized. Tears rolled down my cheeks as I listened. Um... That's when I knew I had to finish this book. I had met this enigmatic woman. I had to meet this enigmatic woman and find out who er Hanukkah Arasaka really was. So they don't know anything about her. Hurry up! Your okay. could be back any second. I'm sorry, I'm reading the lore, man. I'm sorry. What now? Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Why was that pointing me over there? Your turn, bug. Give me two. That doesn't look good. They got winged visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. Uh oh. How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. That is not good. We are in trouble. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact. Bio shard integrity, 100%. I'm guessing that's a yes. Good. Let's go. Fuck. Too late. Your Nobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? Where? That pillar. Try that. Are you fucking kidding? No. Inside it now. How handy that it just opens right up. We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Oh, and he's got a big friend with him. I thought I don't smash her. Bodyguard. Mars. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bug, who we got incoming? Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? Oh. The Emperor. Damn. Yet another ass licking legend. Shush. Doubt this could be soundproof. His pops is here? Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Shh. How's this doing? Arasaka-sama. I Close. Too close. If he'd have sniffed us out, but he didn't. No kayate. What 
私が気づかないとでも思ったのかそもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろうあんたの問題点はそこだ世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる傲慢だよよりのぶどうしてここへ時々に俺に屈辱を合わせ立つは思い知らせるためにか出る杭を打たれると自分の言葉じゃ何も言えないのか Do you think it's original to sell our greatest achievement to Westerners due to these barbarians? Our future is ours. You're mistaken. You only ever cared about yourself and your six kids. Knew this day would come, but sooner or later your impudence would cross the line. There's much out for which I could forgive you, but treason, no. I'm just glad your mother didn't have to live to see this. A heart should break but once. Jesus. What the fuck? Well, that was a turn of events. That's that. We're done for. What the hell are we gonna do? We're stuck at a TV. Damn, he just made him turn to help him. Oh, damn. Because he's technically, is he the lead now? Is he the head of the Arasaka? What the hell? What the fuck just happened in there? Yorinobu just offed Suburo. What? You know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. What the frick, dude? Oh my god, dude. we're so fucked. Where is your Nobu? I don't... I don't know. I've lost camp Hold on, what was that? Whole building's being put on lockdown. We got a dagger? I don't know what else we got, but that's cool. Okay, got something. fucking Arasaka is dead. Weird to even say it. I guess it's a knife. Not too much scare. Uh, out this window. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh fuck. 
Wait, did they kill her? Fucking made you leaks. Happy now, Jackie. Come on, Jackie. We gotta move. Jackie. Look down. <sighs> yep. That's fucking high. That trauma? Oh, but they're here for no. Saburo. They're a little late. That's not good. They didn't see us. Uh, what? Chips integrity at Jackie? Eighty-six percent. Eighty-six percent and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. That doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk we'll lose it. Jesus. Well, someone's gotta do it. Padre, el Hijo, y en el Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie, you okay? That's like new tech. What if it doesn't work? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Becky is not doing good. Dell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. Get them guns Better ready, too. Somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we best be quick. Oh, what I see. Great. Now let's get out of here. What does that give me? Well, we have this this pistol. It's not not exactly ideal because we're not pistols, but yeah, we have something. What is this? In the shade of an apple tree by Virginia Gra Granchester. Uh, my first memory isn't an image or a sound, but a smell. The smell of rotting apples. Intense and dizzyingly sweet. It must have been around four. We were spending the summer at my grandparents' house at a small orchard. Uh, with this huge old apple tree by the fence. That year it grew so many apples that nobody even bothered to pick them. We just watched them fall to the ground where they lay rotting. It's hard to imagine now a world where things used to grow out of the ground without our help. Without bioengineering. Where an apple was something normal. A fruit whose shape and taste every child knew by instinct. Where a normal person like my granddad could have more than he needed. Sometimes I think back to that orchard and that sweet, drowsy smell, but all I taste is bitterness. Interesting placing for that. Attention. Code red has been initiated throughout the 
we're gonna have to stealth through here. Is that what's going on? Over now. Keep your head down. Down. Here my staff. We'll get down this here. Real, why they send in soccer special Take forces? Come on, quietly. Special forces in the lobby now. We're gonna sweep the building, all floors. Non-disclosure agreement. Some booze. the complete opposite of what I said. Machine gun, I'll take that. It's something. They make their homes on mountaintops. What is this? Japanese demons of yesterday and today. Yokai. They make their homes on mountaintops, uh, in rivers and oceans, on city streets, and on every mega building floor with the number four in it. Interesting. Even in your washing machine or in pervade. Infovisor. Um, some appear in concrete places while others simply haunt a specific person. They're there when you hear a strange noise in the middle of the de desert. They're there when you feel someone's watching you, although it's not. there's not a soul in sight. They're there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to notice. So you were just at a ripper's dock for a checkup. The yokai first appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. Uh, these mysterious beings closely, um, so closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead have been alive in the Japanese consciousness from the very birth of an anonism. Um, it's not that the Japanese believe in the yokai, they simply know the yokai exist. In addition to, to phantoms, orgers, and other mysterious phenomena, the yokai, uh, also include a group of shape-shifting demons called obake. Or Bakemano. Bakemano are said uh, to sometimes take the form of a faceless person, a one eyed scarecrow, or an animal. It's said that uh, when a cat reaches a certain age, it becomes a Bakaneko. Bakaneko. These yokai are able to walk on their two hind legs, speak and dance, assume human form, or even devour their owners and take their place. A Bakaneko. Uh, sometimes visit people in their sleep or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much, much more. One should exercise extreme caution around a devil-tailed ta cat. This is a nekomata, a yokai with shamanic and necromantic capabilities. Able to place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, a nekomata resembles an old woman, often one addicted to some substance or other, and with an eerie, disturbing air about her. However, let me assure American readers of this book, today the most likely place you'll find a bakaneko is in the form of a lucky monkai neko figurines. After all, real cats are an even rarer sight these days. Damn. Alright, well... Let's equip that, uh, let's equip that SMG. Because that's going to be useful. Damn, okay. They're really on the look for everyone. You also have a pistol on?
No sign of any threat. Surrender! They see. Okay, how can we distract them? Turn off the camera. We are not stealthy. SMG, that's pretty nice. We gotta plow through them! Yeah, I know, man. Let me look in here. Yeah, I don't think we can go that way. The guards? More stealthing. This juice. He attacked me. What was that? Let's How did they see me? Enemy contact. Oh. Shoot. Attention. Good one. Please remain in the room and follow all instructions given by staff. A shotgun. Water, Chrome, and Blood, the Fourth Corporate War. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale blood bloodshed of the Fourth Corporate War began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otec. Uh, both companies vied for the controlling stake of the failing IHA Corporation. Otec commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino in turn signed a co cooperation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in an open combat, the fourth corporate war had officially begun. Yet, that's nuts that the corporations are starting wars. It's not even, it's just corporations. Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proverb uh, proved subtle. Arasaka disables a Militech transport. Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official in the Arasaka client. Both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts uh, to sow confusion, gather intel, and cause chaos in the stock markets though none would have thought it possible in the early months. The arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy. 
uh, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict's pace, however. Um, while Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement through peace talks, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. The separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the fourth corporate war's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notorious, uh, notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks that dealt with viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ice measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to launch strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 20, 20, um, 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict, where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired both corporations um, were slaughtered in open warfare by cutting-edge weapon technology. Then in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace, came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka's night city headquarters. Shortly after the blast, uh, bowing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cross. They went at war, all out Drop war. That's nuts. Yourself. And he just came around the corner like that. Come on, motherfucker! Let's dance! Oh, come on! Not here to cuddle! Oh. He's wounded! Ow! Los hijos de la chingada! One fucker left! Sweet! California After Dusk, The Life of Richard Knight Richard Knight was a pessimist even the late 80s when the economy seemed headed for endless growth and the nuclear threat to the ash heap of history Knight saw the United States as a hurtling towards collapse Richard Knight was an optimist he deeply believed the world could be changed for the better and that uh, he was the one to do it Richard Knight was a realist, aware he couldn't change the face of all of the world all at once. He decided to start small, for him at least, by constructing the ideal city. His utopian metropolis was to be called Coronado, or Coronado City. It would stand as a metaphorical city on a hill, a shining example to the rest of the world. Uh, Richard Knight was doomed to fail, not because his vision was inherently impossible to realize, but because many important powerful people wished to make it so. Richard Knight was murdered, the city whose foundations he lay was finished after his death. But his utopian dream soon became a dystopian nightmare, even though original name was lost. In honor of the city's tragically deceased founder, Coronado City was rechristened Night City. Ironically, the name fits. If anything, the city is a cat. Sleepy during the day, Comes frantically on live at night. Sure does. This is a prime example. There's so much lore. Arasaka and 
Uh, orna ornithology. Three Japanese words to know. I, I don't think we can read everything. It's so much. I want to really bad. <laughs> but it's so much. There's so many of them. Everywhere. Someone in there! Security! Open up! Damn, we don't have that. Baby's Enemies watching. We go around them? Well, that's not what I wanted. Get the angle on it. A fire in. Fire. Nice. I didn't want that. No, get out of the camera. Oh, hell yeah! I wanted to turn it off. Did we get something else? Oh, we got a assault rifle. How's this bad boy hold up? Who's gonna neutralize me? I thought we took everyone out. Padre, oh. shut down! What about Open the other one? Ah, gonna take more than that! It's there. This guy? I like this. Three round burst is my favorite kind of gun. It's a little slow, but I like that. Oh, nice. We're getting ranks in Shinobi. Clear everything. A little bit of booze. Down the elevator. Come on. Get in here. What? Saburo Arasaka. 150 years and today of all fucking days it's like some divine comedy shit <laughs> save your strength Jackie God damn. what do you think I'm doing but she'll be we'll get out alive Why? Because you fucking say so? Don't take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling. You're right. I'm sorry, Jackie. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, elevator. Go, go, go! We're already going to be in combat? Yep, they already 
saws. Okay. That's right, we have regen now. If we had the slide, slide shooting, we would have been good. The combat feels so good. Oh my god, what is that? Hey, that's not fun. Week two, electric. I don't have any of that. I guess we can short circuit it, maybe. Oh my god. Yeah, we can short circuit it now. Some loot. That was a crazy plane. And I'll loot you. No. Oh, this big old thing. Oh, we got something. There's no way we can't loot this body. Is it just messed up because it fell in a weird spot? Client feedback noted. 
How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. That's Sweet. crazy. Please remain calm. Oh! Rope. I got oh, it. Oh, it was <laughs> Damn, Delamain. A hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on it. Leave it to me. Ah, I can't say just give up. I'm a SMG. Do what I say! God damn. It's okay, V. <laughs> oh, hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be alright, huh? You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <laughs> Misty, I know. She always knew. <laughs> Biochip. <laughs> Don't do it for me. Heartbreaking. Jackie was so good. Mr. Wells has passed. Where shall I take his remains? Uh, what? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. Give me a sec, will you? Damn. Wells's remains. Where shall I take them? It's a heartbreak right in the beginning of the game. Jeez. I want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshaun awaits you in room number 204. in the major leagues, Jack. Please. You sell stuff? <laughs> What were we using? What was equipped? Does it, sh does it show what's equipped? The Nawaki?
Light machine gun. business after you just lose your Jesus. Waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car. We return to this week's biggest story. The murder of our soccer Yeah, he's there. CEO, Dead. Arasaka. The longtime head of the Japanese mega corporation was reported. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Like, you started this. You're the one who got us into this mess. Let's start with your prep work. You had no idea Saburo Arasaka would be at the hotel. I don't have access to his personal fucking schedule. And besides, nobody asked you to kill the old man. That wasn't us. No shit. Tell that to the Saka ninjas they send after you. Settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Jesus. This game's gonna get crazy. If that's the beginning, this game's gonna get nuts. Take that anger out. Yeah. Yep, you punch that mirror. Game's gonna get nuts. Alright then. Oh, what the hell? I guess I should have saw that coming. This guy's a scumbag. Damn risk it, V. Remember our first convo? I'll fucking kill Seems you! Seems I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Jeez. What an intro. What an intro. Hey, hey, we're chill. Oh, 
Well, it's Keanu. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. That's crazy. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. I curled up your ass. Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. Shh. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. This is crazy. Oh damn! Taking over. I gotta, I gotta rock this thing. Heck yeah! This is feeling like a. Uh, Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. <laughs> chaos. Screaming roll credits. Did I just get hit by the helicopter? Jacking in. It's grass green. Birds fly. You can't see bats. Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Evac announcement. 
broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Get ready! I'm impressed! Damn. Seriously! Watch down! Keep it together! This guy's nuts. Yeah, he's got some skills. Murph? She sided with thimbles, she sided with care. Pursued it with forks and hope. Johnny, payload. Bushido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. The Demolitron. Shaka Elite incoming! Out of there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the motor spinning! We're on our way! That was crazy. Not done yet. We still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes! Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka's sons of bitches incoming. All right. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Take cover! Ah! That reload is so good. I'm just doing the reload over and over because it looks so cool. I don't even need to. Closing in on the access point. Slide in. It just looks so damn good. Johnny Sweet is too cool. Breaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take we a look. now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Damn. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Holy crap. Shit, that's Adam Smasher. <laughs> this guy from back then? Damn. Murphy! Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. How do you get out of there? Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. That was intense. You didn't kill him, though. Let us 
try once more. Your associates, who are they? How did you acquire fissile material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. So sassy. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fissile material? Steel trap. Yeah, I know that old man. <laughs> hey, Gramps. I know you. I wish to look him in the eye. So this must be from... A, yeah, it was a hot minute ago. I don't remember what the year said. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. Oh, damn. What's My husband going on died in, in that tower. Fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Nase. Why did you do this? Why did you do this? Oh well, she's gonna translate. To Sorry. bring an end to the madness, you freak. Hito wa uso tsuki, jibun jishin wo azamuk. The dead are so very, very loud, and yet lying is not in their nature. It's so humbling to listen to the dead speak. Oh, killer! Ah! the heck? Because that would end the game. <laughs> Wouldn't make too much sense, huh? He's here still? That's that guy. Bodyguard. Ugh, heavier than he looks. Now, now listen, listen dog. dog. 
I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. I was, I said I was gonna do that. Arasaka-sama, Otoo-sama no sasugai hama o tsukemashita. Kono otoko de machigai arimasen. Hai, hai. Ichi jikan go ni a tsuku kato. Help me. Quiet. Oh, okay. Well, he's not there to help me. This guy is scary. Yeah. So it's crawled out of a landfill. Probably. Just for the cinematic effect. Crazy. Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. Fuck. Ah! Both could use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? You. You were at Kumpeki Plaza. We must get to Reaper Doc. Quickly. Hector will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone! Anyone! Why? Why not just cut me loose? I'm a dead weight to you. Make the call. Alright, alright! Come on, Delamain. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come. Pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Esoterica. In front of Vix. 
Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The hey. personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit a vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. Jesus. I need to rest. That your blood? blood? Misty! Both are super messed. <laughs> Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of. I know what I'm doing. men than you, but looking better every day. Well, I got shot in the head, so... Well, that'll, that'll leave you looking rough. Is he helping me now? Because he was... V? You in there? How you feeling? How you feeling? Fuck. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. And I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. Jeez. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic, and I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. Again. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different, strange, and I hated it. I hated everybody, every inch. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Jeez, okay. How's that even possible? Does that mean to say there's a terrorist in my head? Hang on. It means to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway. That's not what's important right now. First time I've ever seen you scared? 
never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. Jeez. So it's just a way for them to live v, on and somebody else's body? It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. Out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You don't just die and then rise up in the grave? People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. It used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe. But this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. What the hell? Vic. <laughs> you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Damn. All right, so now we have to figure out how to get this chip out and of our die. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? 
Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? Ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Got very depressing. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Out of here, understand? Now we're seeing him. And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. It's like a really bad sleep paralysis team. <laughs> Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? smoke then go out and get some just need one last one jesus fucking christ man the fuck kind of droid toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off what the hell who you work for start talking fuck Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No way. I'll take control. 
I'll find a way. Oh. You hear me? What the hell? Yeah. Quit making us move. See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Oh. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. This intro just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Crazier and crazier. stop for the day it went a little bit longer than normal uh, but I couldn't I couldn't just end that was too good it was just crazy that intro is nuts um, thank you so much for hanging out today I'll be back in the morning at 8 a.m. Uh, tomorrow central standard or central daylight time uh, I think we're gonna play in Skyrim but man I want to play this game more it's so good <laughs> it has been so good um, yeah, we'll be back to Skyrim tomorrow, and then we'll be back to Cyberpunk on Sunday. So, thank you again. Hope you had a good night. Hope you have a good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Have a good one.